Tony in the murder trial called into question New Hampshire's report on how its child welfare agency handled Harmony's case. Specifically whether she was actually assessed when the social worker first visited the family's Manchester home. Anchor and investigative reporter Carrie Cavanaugh with us now. And Carrie, this is yet another example of this child's well-being falling through the cracks. It really is. New Hampshire state officials released this report in February 2022. It says the social worker assessed Harmony Montgomery the very first day he went to their home for a report of physical abuse. We now know from the now former social workers testimony. He barely saw a little harmony that day. I noticed a person who I recognized as Adam Montgomery um, getting into a car. Was anyone else present with him as he was getting into that vehicle? Uh, there was there was a, uh, a young girl. In testimony during Adam Montgomery's murder trial, former New Hampshire Child Protective Services worker Demetrius Saros takes us back to July 29th, 2019. The New Hampshire Department of Children, Youth and Families received a report that five-year-old Harmony Montgomery suffered a black eye at the hands of her father, Adam. The former social worker went to the family's Manchester home. How long were you able to observe her for? Maybe 10 seconds, 15 seconds, not, not a long period of time. And this was from 30 to 40 feet away? Correct. Those details missing from New Hampshire's own report on what happened that day. It says an assessment was conducted as Adam Montgomery and Harmony were entering their vehicle. And that very day, the social worker emailed Manchester police saying Harmony had no injury consistent with a black eye. It was a huge missed opportunity to keep Harmony safe and probably one of the last opportunities to keep her safe. Carol Erskine's a retired Massachusetts juvenile justice. She's followed Harmony's case closely. I think New Hampshire needs to reopen that in that um, investigation um, in light of that testimony. August 7th, 2019, 10 days later, the social worker conducted a second, more detailed assessment. I did notice a small red mark under one of her eyes and uh, some redness or discoloration. That was explained away as an injury that happened during playtime. 25 investigates asked New Hampshire officials if they stand by their 2022 report after the former social worker's testimony. A spokesperson told us we are required by state and federal laws to protect the confidentiality of individuals involved with the child protection system. New Hampshire's DHHS says it has implemented changes since Harmony's case came to light, including requiring confirmation of residence for all children of a household. On January 2020, another social worker went to the Montgomery home. Adam told them Harmony was now living with her biological mother, and there was little effort to ever confirm that was true. For 25 Investigates, I'm Carrie Cavanaugh. So sad. Carrie, thank you.